While a dog may be man's best friend, it's well known that horses are one of the most reliable animals that humans can use to help them out. Whether it's taking them to certain places or helping to ease their workload, horses are, well, workhorses. And they've been around for many thousands of years and have been part of basically every major society out there, including the modern one. But as is the case with modern ways, there also needs to be levels of horses regarding their breeding and value. And some horses are absolutely worth more than others. With that in mind, here now are the 20 most expensive horse breeds in the world. Number 20. The Rocky Mountain Horse So, where should I start off this list? Well, let's begin with the Rocky Mountain Horse. One reason I'm starting here is that it doesn't have that traditional look that many other horses on this list have. Instead, it has a rather human-like feature in regards to its eyes and hair. The eastern United States during the early days of the nation were a haven for horse breeders, and the Rocky Mountain Horse was one that was bred from Spanish and English horses that featured traits which would allow them to blaze the Rocky Mountain trails with ease. I mean that as many farms in the period were at the foothills of the mountains, and that would mean a lot of traversal had needed to be done. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. The Gypsy Vanner One thing that you're going to notice quite quickly on this list is that many of these horse breeds were either bred with a certain purpose, or you could refine the ones that you had to get them to be the purpose that you needed them to be. In the case of the Gypsy Vanner, these horses were bred by gypsies who lived in Great Britain. They worked hard for over 50 years to make a horse that would be big and strong enough to pull the caravans that the gypsies traveled around in. Not only did that tactic work, but they were also able to make them rather friendly horses, which they would need to be given all the people around their caravans so they had a need, and they made a horse that was able to suit that need. Number 18. The Morgan Horse You know in certain fantasy stories that there are animals that you choose and that will choose you and the other way around, but in our world there are creatures that actually do that, and the Morgan Horse is one such horse breed. The horse has a big legacy in the United States because it was one of the very first breeds that was ever made within the country. The results were almost immediate and pronounced. For example, you can use this horse no matter what age you are, and once you're chosen by it, it'll then go to great lengths to help you in whatever way you need. Even children are known to handle these horses with ease. And if you want, you could even put them into sporting events and they'll end up doing just fine. Number 17. The American Quarter Horse Now, I'm going to show you a lot of classic American horses on this list, including ones that are both bred and wild, and it's only fair that the American Quarter Horse be on here given how much work that it's done for the nation. Descended from a mixture of Arabian horses with Mustangs, the American Quarter Horse is known for possessing a good temperament having a lot of versatility, beauty, speed, agility, and loyalty. And as you'll see as we go further down this list, the best horses, especially ones that are expensive, carry a lot of these great qualities. Part of their versatility is the fact that they can do pretty much anything that you want them to do, and they're not going to raise a fuss. Want to ride them? Well, sure, they'll let you. Want to own one as a pet? Well, you have that option as well. Need to do some hard labor? It can handle everything you throw at it. So as long as you treat it well, you're going to have a horse that can do whatever you need, whenever you need it done. Number 16. The Appaloosa Next up on the list is the Appaloosa horse, one of two spotted horses that are going to be back to back in this next section. And as you can see, this horse really is a spotted horse. It features spots and different colorings all over its body, which you may think would lead to them being ignored in lieu of their more striking horse brethren, However, you'd be wrong. 
Not only is this horse breed beloved by its coloring, it's one of the best horses you can actually get in some respects. Appaloosas are known for being gentle, friendly, and loyal companions. They tend to be very eager to please, and so, no matter what your skill level is with a horse, you're likely to get along with this one. While their ancestors were brought over by the Spanish, it would be the Native Americans who loved them the most and bred them to help out on their homelands. It was because of the Native American Indian tribes who wanted a colorful yet intelligent horse, and that's exactly what they got. Fast forward to the modern times, and they're known not only for working and riding, but also being used on television and in film because of how amazing that they look on camera. Number 15. The Mustang There is so much that could be said about this spotted horse, but we only have one entry, so I should probably get to the good stuff. The Mustang may be known as an American horse, but its origins actually lie in Spain. The Spanish had brought many of their horses to the New World over the years, and they eventually became the ones that you see now. And yes, they are quite wild and feral, as it is dubbed. Sadly, that almost got the entire population killed, because at one point in time, the Mustang was actually considered a nuisance more than anything else, and they were almost wiped out. But then, the United States Congress came together because they realized that these natural horses were a true symbol of America and the history that it crafted out on the frontier. As such, they're now protected by United States law, so you shouldn't really try to mess with one in the wild. This species is so iconic that they've been used in movies, television shows, and of course, are the inspiration for the legendary Ford Mustang, one of the most amazing cars that's ever been made. In many ways, the Mustang is the antithesis of what many other horses on this list are, and that makes it pretty cool in our eyes. Number 14. The Andalusian The beauty of a horse will often be debated by people depending on the breed and their coloring. Trust me, people can be very particular about their horses and what they like or don't like. But when it comes to the Andalusian horse breed, most people would agree that this is easily one of the most stunning breeds in the entire world. First, like many other horses, they're used for many kinds of sporting events and can do just about all of them with grace. But when you see them in the wild is when you see them at their best. They're not afraid to go through vast and snowy fields or even climb up mountain passes and do really whatever else their spirited bodies wish to do. The Andalusian descended from Spanish and Portuguese Iberian horses in the province of Andalusia, but that's where they get their name, and their famous traits and skills. Their history is thousands of years old, dating back to the horses that existed before they were even known as horses. So yeah, they've been around quite a long time, and due to their popularity, they're going to stay around for quite a long time as well. Number 13. Arabian Horse Without a doubt, the Arabian is one of the most important and distinctive horses on this list, and I don't say that lightly. The reason I put them in such high regard is because they're one of those breeds that's used to make other breeds better. These Arabian horses had to survive in the most harsh conditions of the Middle East with its vast deserts, and it was able to do that just fine. Equally important, once they were discovered by various nomadic tribes, they were able to maintain a good relationship with humans, so they ensured both their help and their usefulness. Arabian horses are known for being the ultimate endurance riders, which is why you often hear of endurance races with these horses and how mighty that they can be. Arabians are known for their elegance and stamina. They originate from the Arabian Peninsula and have distinctive features like a dished face and a high tail carriage. They are one of the oldest horse breeds dating back thousands of years, and they're revered for their friendly nature and intelligence. Their unique genetic traits have influenced many other horse breeds, and they're cherished worldwide for their beauty, agility, and loyalty, making them not only exceptional performers in various equestrian disciplines, but also beloved companions. Once their greatness was made known to the world, they began getting exported out so that they could be bred with other species. The United States and Canada, the United Kingdom, Australia, continental Europe, South America, and more all wanted the Arabian horse because of its skills and abilities, along with its influence, as it's seen in many breeds today. They're good-natured, they want to work well with humans, and they're very intelligent, so they should be treated with respect if you want to get the most out of them. Number 12. The Hanoverian Horse 
How good is the Hanoverian horse? Well, I could tell you all the things that it could do like many of the other horses, or I could simply tell you that it's a horse that's a 25-time Olympic gold medal winner. Does that show you how good the horses are? The Hanoverian horse has a natural balance that is characterized by an elegant trot and a ground-covering gait. They are a spirited breed that's very easy to work with, which makes them excellent candidates for equestrian sports and then winning gold medals in sports tournaments. As a German breed, it's one of the best of its nation, and the documentation for the Hanover horse has been very well documented. For example, the horse breed was actually started by a king. The mixed thoroughbreds with more native German horses to create the breed, and it did work. And not unlike many of the horses on this list, their purpose slowly changed from being a farming horse to a war horse, and then into a sporting horse. Whatever works for the people and the horses in the end. Number 11. The Oldenburg There are few ironies when it comes to the Oldenburg, and one of them is that despite having a rather small population size due to where it's bred and raised, the Oldenburg is one of the top lines of German horses here for the GOV inspection, the German Oldenburg Verband inspection, and one that's respected above almost all the others. This horse was first born back in the 17th century, and it's tied to the legendary Frisian horse, which I'll discuss soon enough. Early Oldenburgs were well known for consistency and confirmation, great power, and their magnificent coal-black color. They're also famed for their kind character and extreme willingness to work under saddle, in front of a carriage, or in the fields. And back in those days, this horse would do a lot because it made your job much easier. The Oldenburg is a versatile and elegant breed that's known for its strength and athleticism. Originating in Germany, these horses are admired for their friendly temperament, which makes them suitable for various disciplines. They have strong, well-muscled builds, often with a graceful appearance, and they typically stand quite tall with a slightly convex profile and expressive eyes. Their limbs are sturdy, which contributes to their agility and soundness, and with a medium to large frame, they exhibit a floating trot and smooth canter, which makes them excel in dressage and jumping competitions. Known for a willing nature and strong intelligence, they're often used in competitive equestrian sports and are equally appreciated as a pleasure horse as well. But over time, the uses for certain horses like the Oldenburg changed, and so did the horse itself. Certain other breeds were brought into its genes so that it could be a more hard-working horse that could handle a whole lot more things, and as time changed, so did the horses. Due to their natural athletic ability, many of these horses are bought and trained as show jumpers, and while their numbers are small, they are still a rather beloved horse. Number 10. The American Standard Bred When you hear that certain things are the standard, you know that they mean business, and the American Standard Bred is one such horse. As the name implies, it's a breed that means quite a lot to the United States. Its origins take itself back to the early days of the country, where certain breeds were used as its template to make an incredibly fast and powerful racehorse. The standard bred horse breed boasts the fastest trotting horses all over the globe. The average cost of the standard bred ranges from $1,000 to $5,000, depending on its age, its training, and its pedigree. So, you had better save up if you want a good one of this breed. Another thing to note is that the horse has a good temperament and a rather muscled body. That's important because it actually makes it a better racehorse, as it'll not only move great, but also work quite well with the rider. This is also another kind of species that is so good at what it does that it's used to help refine other species as well. So once again, it is the standard in certain cases in the United States, and that's why it comes with such a high price. Number 9. The Holsteiner At first, the Holsteiner may not seem like a horse that stands out, but don't be fooled. The horse is actually a prized horse in Germany and has faithfully served its people for quite some time now. The case in point, it's over 700 years old and was bred at a monastery of all places because said monastery was carefully raising different breeds so that they could have a horse that would help them with their farms and also be able to go out into the world as a war horse. So yeah, there are a lot of war horses on this list, and this is one of them. Eventually, a new breed would be mixed in to help make the Holsteiner better, the Thoroughbred, and I'll talk more about them later. But the point here is that they wanted nothing more than to use the speed and agility of the Thoroughbred to enhance the Holsteiner, and it worked. 
By the 1800s, the breed had reached a level of renown as good driving horses, with their ground covering and high striding gaits. Plus, farmers could rely on them, still thanks to their hardiness, so it became a win-win all around. Another big change came when the horses were used in World War I and II. They were made stronger and tougher so that they could help to transport heavy materials like artillery. Once the war was over, they slowly refined the horse to be faster and leaner, resembling what we have today. It's mainly a sports horse now, which is a very popular thing to have. Number 8. The Frisian Horse Now it's time to get a little bit medieval and talk about the Frisian horse. While the horse technically is from the Netherlands, it has a more ancient heritage, as the ancestors of the Frisian horse were apparently some of the top-tier war horses of the time. The reason for this was because of their size and strength, because they could have a knight in full armor on top of them and yet still be incredibly fast and nimble. Plus, you have to admit, it's a rather striking looking horse. One of the outstanding characteristics of the Frisian is its very long mane and tail. These are never cut and often will reach the ground, and when you add in that deep black coloring, you get a horse that might just embody the term of black beauty. The Frisian horse today is used both in harness and under saddle, particularly in the discipline of dressage. In harness, they're used for competitive and recreational driving, both singly and in teams, and they're also known to be the horse that's used for certain ceremonial events where they often help to pull certain vintage carriages around. No doubt to help accentuate the carriage and show off how nice that it actually is. Either way, it's a nice horse, and it's one that almost went extinct, yet was able to survive and come back in good numbers. Number 7. The Thoroughbred One could make the argument that the Thoroughbred is one of the most expensive horses on this list simply because of the potential that it has when entering a racetrack. Horse racing is serious business and goes back hundreds of years, and for good reason. Well, maybe not for such good reasons, but people have loved watching horses race down a track, and when there's plenty of money in play, people will do a lot of things to ensure that they win. The Thoroughbred is a mixed breed, but one that has been built to the best kind of racer possible. It began in England when they continually bred better and better horses to race on the track, and eventually that led to the importation of the Byerly Turk and the Darley Arabian, along with the Godolphin Arabian. These stallions were the base plate for future thoroughbreds and helped to deliver the strength and speed that the horses needed. Eventually, when horse racing came to America, entire breeding farms solely to make thoroughbreds would start popping up, and it easily became one of the most competitive races around the world to make the next great racehorse. Plus, these top-tier horses are incredibly valuable, so much so that owners will often sell them out to certain people to try and make the next champion horse. It's known as a stud fee and something that many people do, even if it's just trying to add some of the qualities of the racehorse into their non-racing horses. It happens all the time, and it can end up raking in millions of dollars. Number 6. The Soleil Francaise Here's yet another horse that was born from a mixture of many specific horses to create something unique and special. It's a rather impressive creature that is a mixture of horses, having gone through its ancestry, which includes the Thoroughbred, the Norfolk Trotter, and a French horse known as Norman Cobbs. The last one is important because they are a rather old horse that is rooted in warfare, and they were used to help make new breeds hardier by giving them bravery, strength, intelligence, and a good temperament. But here's the thing, this horse was not immediately born out of that. Instead, another horse was made called the Anglo-Norman. However, like certain other horses, after the World Wars, the needs for powerful workhorses would come to an end, it left people needing something that was just a little bit more sporty. As such, the Anglo-Norman, the Vendine, and other breeds were all brought together to make one brand new breed, which became this one. Over the years, the horse has been further refined to not only harness its looks, but also the abilities that it has. And trust me when I say that this horse has hops. It can literally leap over a tall human if it wants to. Its skill has led it to being France's favorite sport horse, and it can be seen in all kinds of shows all over the place. They've even been used in the Olympics by the official French team. 
but they do have some other uses, which includes dressage, combined driving, vaulting, and competitive trail riding. It's very easy to see that France is rather proud of this horse, and so it doesn't come with a very cheap price tag. Number 5. The Dutch Warm Blood The Dutch Warm Blood is another kind of sporting horse that was developed almost solely so that it could do various activities with humans. Whether it be dressage, jumping, driving, or being in various kinds of competitions, the Dutch Warm Blood is able to handle just about anything that's thrown at it, which makes it very valuable. And so where did this horse come from? Well, that would be the Netherlands. Believe it or not, there were two completely different breeds of horse out there, called the Gelderlander and the Groningen. One was a medium-build horse that was good for pulling things, and the other was a larger horse that was used for farming. The Dutch Warm Blood was the result of these two, and it became quite the sporting horse in the process. That's mainly because, after the Second World War, machinery would take over many of the roles that workhorses had done in large, and then that led to a more prominent need for sporting horses, or pleasure sport horses. And as they like to say, you have to give the people what they want. If you're wondering why they called it the warm blood, it's because it has the talents and skills of certain cold-blooded or hot-blooded horses. So, since it's right in the middle, it's called the warm blood. Warm blood horses are known for their exceptional athletic abilities and amiable temperaments. They originate out of Europe and exhibit a balanced and harmonious build. With a medium to large frame, they're strong, well-muscled, and they contribute to their agility and power. They're often recognized with versatility, excelling in various equestrian disciplines like dressage, show jumping, and eventing. They showcase a calm and cooperative nature, and that makes them suitable for riders of all kinds of different skill levels. These traits, combined with their willingness to work and learn, have contributed to their popularity in competitive sport and recreational riding. Not only is the horse very versatile in what it can do, they tend to be intelligent, easygoing, and willing to work with their humans, so it's no surprise that many love to pay a pretty penny to get one. Number 4. The Lebazan Now, when a horse is labeled as culturally significant by an entire continent, you know that it's not only a good horse, but it's one that's going to be worth a pretty penny should you try to buy one. Not unlike many of the others on this list, this one was not a horse that was naturally born, but rather it was bred after a lot of breeding and refinement and tweaks to its lineage. To that end, it would be at a special horse breeding school, the Spanish Riding School in Vienna, that would help to develop this horse to become the iconic horse that it is today. Early breeders would develop it as a riding and light carriage horse. Militaries would often refine its breeding to create a specialized cavalry mount and train the horses to perform in exhibitions for European nobility. So yeah, it's a popular horse, but the reason it's become so iconic is that during numerous conflicts that enveloped Europe over the last hundred or so years, the horse has survived in all manner of issues that could have very well made them extinct. Instead, they've not only survived, but have become a symbol of unity and not giving up during a hard time. The Spanish Riding School does still operate today, and it attempts to keep this horse, along with other classical horsemanship techniques alive, further adding to the horse's pedigree. Number 3. The Akal Teki now, I've shown you a lot of old horses already in the video, but this one is a special one because it's one of the oldest domesticated horse breeds there is, meaning that humans have been using these horses for quite some time. But if you fast forward to where we are now, it is among one of the most rare and exotic full-size horse breeds around the world. That's quite the turnaround. As for what this horse has historically been used for, that would be one that's good at speed and endurance. Their breed is so old that some even feel they likely descended from the same horse breed that would have gone on to craft the Arabian, and I've already told you how impressive that that particular horse is. But not unlike the Arabian, this one had to survive in some harsh conditions, in this case, the deserts of Turkmenistan. Due to having a lack of water and other resources, they had to not only learn to endure for long periods of time without food and water, but also to rely on their human hosts to help to keep them alive. It was a very symbiotic relationship, and one that worked out more times than not. These days, the horse is commonly used for dressage, show jumping, and long distance racing, along with pleasure riding, and in some countries like Russia, they're even revered as a status symbol, possibly because of how rare they actually are. After all, there are only about 10,000 of them left in the entire world. Number 2. 
The Clydesdale It's almost a crime that it's taken this long to get to the Clydesdale. After all, it's one of the most recognizable and iconic horses in history, and for good reason. And no, I don't just mean those Budweiser commercials, though it did help with their value overall. The Clydesdale features an interesting history regarding its breeding. Its ancestors were stallions that had mated with certain horses of another breed in Scotland, and then another horse breed was added into the mix to help it become bigger and stronger. And that's exactly what happened. Once the Clydesdale was born, it became one of the most popular breeds out there because of its size and strength. It got so big, in fact, that it was one of the go-to horses for riders in the First World War, which sadly led to a big decline in its population numbers due to all of the losses in that war. However, they were able to make a bounce back and are used for many things today, which includes pulling carriages and being used for certain cavalry units. And yes, they are also in those Budweiser commercials that are so popular and a tradition of sorts during the Super Bowl. And you can't deny that when you see a pack of them marching down the road, they do look rather majestic and thus are definitely worth the price. Number 1. The American Paint Horse The American Paint Horse is a very interesting horse that was bred to mix certain visual aspects of Western horses with color schemes of others. And not unlike many other horses on this list, you cannot deny how unique the horse looks. While some will not like this different kind of spotted horse, there are those out there who love it, and there are apparently about a hundred thousand of these horses all over the world across dozens of countries, so clearly somebody likes them. Besides their unique coat patterns, paint horses were bred for their friendliness, calm demeanor, intelligence, athleticism, and trainability, and as such you can find them either being great workhorses or those that people will ride without fear of being bucked off. Plus, people love how they look so different given the variety of colors that can take place on their coats. They make a great and beautiful horse for anyone who wants to own one. That's all from the realm of horses and a look at the breeds that are a bit more pricey than others. Were you shocked at the ones that had a higher price tag? And which ones do you think are not worth the price? Or do you know of another high-priced horse that could have been on this list? Let me know all about it in the comments section down below. Check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I will see you next time.